Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee. Happy Monday to all of you, day after Halloween. I have here with me Mr. James Coons. He is the uh, director of the Okaboji High School Band. And James, welcome. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Yeah, and I'm very comfortable. I was a percussionist at one time oh, in my high okay. school career, snare drum and, and so forth, so I feel very... I, I don't have the chops in my arms to do it anymore, but I, I feel very comfortable. It's probably good I'm back here with you monitoring, <laughs> yeah. making sure you're not getting off task, right? Exactly. Well, I, I always needed heavy supervision here. <laughs> well, we're talking about, you've got an event coming up here on Saturday, November 20th, and uh, it, it's a fundraiser, and maybe for, tell us what it is, and then we can uh, say what the fundraiser's for. Yeah, so it's it's kind of a wild idea. It's a mattress fundraiser. Uh, the mattress that you sleep on in your house, we are looking to sell those um, to help the band go to New York. Uh -huh. or, excuse me, the band and choir. So the event is being put on by Okaboji Fine Arts, or OFA. Um, and so it's a really great opportunity. This is something I did in my previous job. And we made uh, a lot of money in a really quick amount of time with very minimal work ah, yes. on our end. Well, so actually, what will what'll happen is okay. they'll they'll purchase a new mattress. Okay. Yep. So they buy their own mattress. Okay. And the proceeds from those mattresses go towards ah, the students traveling. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. And so the statistics show that one in every ten households ends up purchasing a new mattress every year, which yes. is kind of a weird statistic, well, and you wouldn't <laughs> think about that, but. You know, if I went and bought a, a new car, I would probably tell you and everybody, hey, I got this great new car. Exactly. If I get a Cadillac of a mattress, yes. I'm really telling myself. Exactly. <laughs> That's about it. So, okay, so uh, could people, do they start, how do, how do you get involved with this, James? Yeah, so you can um, come to the Okaboji High School gym on November 20th. Okay. Uh, or you can reach out to Eric Schmidt. He's our mattress coordinator um, through a company called Custom Fundraising Solutions in Des Moines, or CFS. Okay. Um, and then they would, sorry, on the day of the on the day of the fundraiser, they can come to the gym and sample one of the, about 32 beds that'll okay. be on display there. Okay. So you can test it out, see if you like it. They've got adjustable bases or just the the plain mattress. Uh, so you can test it out, see if you like it. Too hard, too soft, just right. The Goldilocks <laughs> approach. Yeah, I was gonna baby bear. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And uh, so then once they've decided on a mattress to purchase, then they can go ahead and, and buy the bed there. They're about three to five weeks out from shipping. Okay. So you should have your new mattress right around the beginning of the new year. Okay, very good. And now do you get a percentage of, of the sales? Is that how the, the, you raise the funds then? Yeah, yep. so every, every bed purchased um, we get a, a kickback off of that. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you buy a $5,000 California King mattress or if you buy just a, a, a regular yeah. king size mattress, right. the, the portion or the, the percentage back, or sorry, the, the dollar amount is the same. Okay. No matter what, right. okay. what type of bed. So you'll have yeah. them all king, queen, twin, yep. and so forth, yeah. Yep, yeah, and so the more the more beds we sell, total or in total um, the more incentive they give give to us okay so you could buy 50 double beds and they're still going to give you those same um, kickbacks okay based on on volume very good and and you said that you did this at your your previous school yep and yep. where was that uh, it was bishop elan high school in sioux city oh, iowa yeah. and so uh, we made about $6,500 in the first year that we did it wow. on a total of seven and a half hours of work, which that, really isn't much of ours at all. We've already had the half an hour with our parent meeting, right. uh, which was really well attended. And, um, and so then the seven hours that the mattress folks are here on that day, and that's the fundraiser. It's, there's no no cookies, no wrapping paper, right. no light bulbs, no yeah. nothing. Kids don't have to go door to door. Kids don't and, have to go uh, door to door. Every kid yep. loves to do, you know. Oh, of course. <laughs> and of every course. parent, you know, you end up buying most of the stuff anyway. <laughs> right. so this is nice. This is a, a neat new twist on. And is it for uniform or for the trip? The yeah. trip to New York with uh, for the band and choral. Then. Yep. Okay. Yep. So wow. Uh, so we get going November twentieth, Saturday. What time again do we get started? Uh, the sale starts at 10 and goes till 5. Okay. 
Yep, so 10 till 5. And there'll be representatives in the gym. Yep, from OFA, students will be out. We'll throw them in some mattress costumes so they can flag people down and, <laughs> and let people know mattress sales I happening. I love that. Today, what so. a great idea. Yeah. Well, what a fun twist on fundraising for, uh, for a band or for any school project. Yeah, and it, it's really one of those things where we just have to talk about it. Because, yeah. again, we know that 1 in 10 people are going to purchase a, a new mattress this year. Yeah. And so we've just got to find it. And so even if you aren't interested in it, we can you can still help us out by just talking to somebody and saying, hey, did you hear about this weird mattress yeah. fundraiser? <laughs> yeah, here's kind of how it works. And, and just get people in the community talking. And so hopefully this becomes an annual event. And so we know, oh, yeah, we can help support OFA by, again, yeah. by purchasing a mattress. Well, yeah. and, and we all know somebody who, uh, you know, comes to work in the morning, oh, my back I, mean, I gotta get rid of this so there you go you right. can help the students and get a good night's sleep all at the same time absolutely oh wonderful yeah. now how uh, i assume you're uh, moving from marching into concert band and so forth how did, how did the fall season go for you guys we had we had an awesome marching band season that was the first time really in school history um that we had done kind of a, a production um, and so that was a really, really big step for the kids to take, um, but one that they handled really, really gracefully yeah. <laughs> uh, and with a lot of enthusiasm. And so we, ended, we finished our season by attending the IHSMA state marching event in Sheldon, Iowa, oh, wow. which, again, was the first time that Okoboji has been represented there. Yeah. We had a lot of directors saying, that was your first time marching here? And yeah, and you, did that, and <laughs> yeah. you did that well. So the kids, yeah, the kids really stepped up and rose to the rose to the challenge. So I'm would very, you say more of a production? Is it more drum corps style or uh, yeah, okay. yeah, a little more drum corps style and trying to adapt to what most of our other contemporary schools are are doing right now as far as having a having a show and a theme and working on on those sets throughout mm -hmm. the school year. And every time out, we just keep making it better and better. More marching and maneuvering and yes. uh, all these terms that I used to know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just showing off to the band instructors. That's right. but I'm <laughs> hey, we'll take it. We'll okay. take it. Well, wonderful. Again, the uh, event, November 20th, gets started at what time? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Uh, and be in the, the uh, high school gymnasium here at Okoboji High School. And uh, if, if you need a good night's sleep or know somebody who does, come help out the, the band <laughs> on their trip. To, when is the trip? Uh, August of 2022. Okay, well, so not not for a way, yeah. uh, not for a while. It'll come faster than we know. That's, that's the way it works for sure. Too. So yeah. all right. Well, very good. Thank you for taking time with me here today. I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, Jeff. We that's, appreciate it. Absolutely, James Coons again, the the uh, director of the Okaboji High School mar uh, mar band and uh, instrumental music here at the high school. We want to thank him for joining us. We want to thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. The Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. V Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 